Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about electrolysis or hydrogen generating. Uh, I will talk to you about the meaning of electrolysis and how to uh, achieve the process of electrolysis. But first I'll just show you me creating some hydrogen. My two electrodes are just basically going to be two pieces of aluminium foil in there. I have this baking soda and this really cool portable blender that creates a very good vortex. But I'll just take this off. Put some baking soda in there. Doesn't have to be too much. And then blend it around a bit. You can hear the sucking sound. But that looks pretty clear. Just a little bit more. Alright, so now we have our solution. Uh, I'll disconnect this battery, this the wire, just to pour this in. Now, the two electrodes inside the water cannot touch, just if you want to do this at home. Okay, so you now have your two electrodes submerged in the water. And if I connect the negative electrode and complete the circuit, You can see that hydrogen bubbles are forming on the negative plate and oxygen bubbles are forming on the positive plate. If I wanted to increase the volume of hydrogen that is being generated, I would need to make the level of conductivity inside the water to be increased. Therefore, more amperage will be pulled from this battery, causing the electrolysis process to be boosted and for it to create more oxygen and hydrogen. You can see here that the, there is more bubbles coming from the negative plate than the positive plate. That is because a water molecule consists of two parts of hydrogen to one part of oxygen. So, I will now tell you about the electrolysis process.